liking the rabbi from another planet. Please like, share, and subscribe, and ring that little bell. Ring the little bell so you're notified when new videos drop. So we had all those awful announcements happen last week uh, for Star Wars, like a new Ray movie. Which is just is everything that was awful, right? Ray used, uh, uh, going on Luke Skywalker's mission to rebuild the. Uh, God, it's so terrible, right? It's so terrible. Uh, uh, and uh, uh, just, you know, a lot of other very depressing things about Star Wars. When I personally have been enjoying The Mandalorian, I understand many people haven't. And it, look, 100%, I, I, may, I talk about it in this video, 100%, Mandalorian is subject to the. Uh, Disney edict of destroying any male heroes. They're replacing them with females. I mean, we saw it all across the MCU. Uh, Tim Cott's quite got quite an interesting theory, which we talk about in this video as well, about uh, uh, what's going on. But um, we have other sources now come in and tell us that these announcements aren't real. These announcements were, in fact, uh, part of an internal war between uh, Bob Iger and Kathleen Kennedy. Uh, uh, as I think she she announced these uh, um, projects in a rogue manner uh, and uh, uh, basically to save her position because it's going to be very embarrassing now for Iger to say, oh, no, that's all crap, right? We're not doing anything. However, how many things have been announced that haven't happened? We, we've seen the Ryan Johnson trilogy, are we? We've seen the Dan and Dave trilogy. Now they're trying to pretend the Dave, Kevin Feige movie. Oh, nothing happened there. No, not really. Yeah, we've seen a lot of things be cancelled. Um, I don't know. I'll be, I'll be intrigued to see where this goes. It'll be it'll be glorious if it is, right? Because at that point, you still have some hope, right? Because Mando this week, again, I'm fine with the KDC. Sackle version of it, right? I really am because I think that's done with quality and integrity. And for me, it really works. But I do get the wider agenda that pissing people off. I absolutely see that. But I, for me, it works, right? It's not like Jodie Whittaker and Doctor Who, who wasn't able to do the job, right? She wasn't able to perform. So uh, uh, for me, it works. But again, I understand what everybody's saying. I do indeed understand. And then, uh, was it? At the end of last week's episode, uh, uh, um, yeah, we, we introduced a Praetorian Guard that from The Last Jedi, which I thought were the best, were the stunning. I thought that they, they were some of the best bit. That was the best bit of The Last Jedi, right? I, look, we could get to a situation where Kathleen Kennedy's gone, all this stuff is out the window, and they want, and they want stars to be popular again. They're still in a place right now, and the, and the stuff they're making, where they can veer off into a better universe, a better timeline, which is what I hope they're going to do. But what I really hope you're going to do is veer off and go to Rumble and subscribe to me there. That would be fantastic. That is the uh, channel I'm trying to build up, right? Because they are super duper nice to me. I get a lot more views on Rumble than I do on YouTube. It's really genuinely incredible. But, you yeah, know, that's just the way it is. So head over to Rumble, subscribe to me there. Thank you very much. If you're not subscribed here, subscribe here as well, wherever you are. I'm on Rumble, I'm on Twitter, I'm on YouTube. Uh, I put my post videos as a lot on to um, Facebook as well, right? Look, Rumble, uh, yes, yeah, so you can find me in most places. Look in the video notes. Hopefully, I'm gonna have some time today to work on uh, this thing over here, which is if you're not a Doctor Who fan, you're not gonna understand. This is an out of print Doctor Who book, uh, and I'm gonna have a deep fake Colin Baker read it, which I'm looking forward to because it's a good book. Anyway, so sign up. That's in my uh, on my sub site. That'll be in the, okay, everything's in the video notes, baby. Like, share, subscribe, comment. Please comment. Let me know what you think. Oh, oh, is there light at the end of the tunnel? Maybe there is. Maybe there is. Maybe this awful this uh, uh, is about to be over. And, and hurrah for that. Fine. Let me handle me. This comes from a live stream I did last night. A live stream every night. Come and hang out on a live stream. You can get like I said. You can catch me on YouTube, Twitter. And Rumble, right? I live stream every day. It's kind of a daily show. Yeah, it's a daily channel now. So uh, uh, come and come and join. Talk in the chat. I will respond. And that kind of normally makes the show as well. It moves me in whatever direction we're going to go in. Fine. Like, share, subscribe, comment. All those things are fantastic. Now let me hand over to me from last night. Mandalorian actress. Get, okay. The, oh, Jonah Trent is mad at the Mandalorian. So here's, here's what I think is the truth. Here's what's going on. Um, yeah, let's just let's try and wrap this thing up. So, um, let me pull this up. Here, here's what I think is going on that John Favreau had his major course correction somewhat enforced upon him. Which major course correction that it fits into the Disney edict of uh, making the heroes female instead of male, essentially, right? It, it, that's always got to be the way. This is a way. 
Uh, and it seems clear that the um, that that the way the show ended in season two, it was going in one very optimistic direction that was not in the direction of the sequel trilogy, right? Um, and ever since then, it, there's been a hard handbrake turn. Although he, he was building that academy, so I don't know. You could go either way on that one, really. But there was there was a certain handbrake jet loops of it. There was a kind of start, hard, hard handbrake turn where Grogu now is uh, wants to be a Mandalorian instead of a Jedi, uh, and um, uh, uh, that they they're together in a different ship. Yeah, that'd be, oh, and yeah, weirdly, the the bridging thing is hidden away in another show, right? Uh, uh, and uh, so Doomcock has a has a, a theory, which I, I don't know how wrong it is that the, this all these changes were false on Favreau at the same time with Gina Carano going, uh, uh, and really the feminizing of the storyline. Uh, and I mean, so it's clearly it's a it's it's a Bo-Katan show now. Now I think uh, um, as it happens, it's still very good, right? I think that. Um, the book of Dutch shows that I, 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 so I wouldn't be surprised if Mando doesn't die in, in, in this next episode. Uh, cause she's all, she's always the protector of, uh, uh Grogu now. He's, she's always with him. Mando's hardly in it. I think Pedro Pascal wants to move on, right? Um, he doesn't like having the helmet on all the time. Katie Sackle can put a helmet on or take it off. It's fine. I like her in the role. I think she's actually, I think she's a quality actress, right? I really genuinely do. I like her performance. I like the character she made. Um, yeah, no, I like it a lot, right? I do like it a lot. So, uh, uh, um, so for me, this what this one's a win, right? Uh, uh, but anyway, so Doomcock says because the uh, the Mandalorian who got killed this week, the guy with the big big one with the gun, <laughs> so that was always John Favreau's one, right? He was he John Favreau saw that as his avatar, uh, uh, and um, he voiced it. Uh, uh, and uh, so in this episode, that one, that one sacrifices himself uh, and ends up being killed by the, the Praetorian Guard from uh, uh, Ret Ret not Return of the Jedi, the um, last, last, the last Jedi, maybe whatever it's called, right? Now, uh, which I think looked fantastic, right? But Doomcock's idea was that is projecting a, uh, a that's a projected message from Favreau to the fans saying. Uh, no, they killed Star Wars. They, 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 it's killed at Stone Dead. Is now you know girl Star Wars. Star Wars. Uh, um, no, I think it was true. I think it is girl Star Wars, right? But I think uh, uh, yeah, I saw yeah the Ahsoka Tano show, girl Star Wars, right? It's all girl Star Wars, right? Yeah, it's got this weird sexual politics going through it. So uh, uh, yeah, I can see Katie Sackle becoming lead. She's the Mandalorian too, right? So she won the dark saber fairly. She did, uh, and then she got to the point where she didn't want it anymore. That I mean, that that also is. I mean, like, I don't understand what the problem is with that. I think John. I think you're just mad, right? Honestly, I think you're just mad, right? Um, that 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 this has been part of the. Yeah, this has been taken over as well. Look, we had two good seasons. I, 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 frankly, I find it enjoyable, right? Uh, I think she did win the Dark Saber fairly, right? Quite frankly. Um, where are we up to? James Gunn announces the cast of Creature Commandos, including David Harbour and Frank Grillo. Wow, that's interesting. Is this, is this a cartoon? Yeah, let's do the Acolyte thing for that. I do want to look at The Acolyte, Jodie Turner Smith, claims the show having a black leader is so groundbreaking, says Star Wars it, it is about a man's journey. Well, it used to be, right? Yeah, get another girl Star Wars, right? Like, like everything's girl Star Wars. Um, I think this is actually going to be uh, um, like like Mandalorian, well put together, maybe, right? I I I, I know they say everything wrong, but I I really think the uh, uh, the Leslie it was it Leslie Headland. I've only ever seen her do good stuff. I really I I you know I call it as I call it. Star Wars is very patriarchal, but she believes the upcoming show is so groundbreaking because it features a black lead. Well, you know, 
she is like the second one. <laughs> it's like it's not like there's so many. Um, uh, while at Star Wars Celebration, I mean, no, third one, I should say, uh, in London, uh, uh, in, in London, England, uh, Turner Smith took the main stage with her co-star Rebecca Anderson, where she discussed her role uh, in the show. Okay, she began saying, my character, you know, my she's a powerful leader, she's a powerful leader in a very woman-centered world, uh, and I'm very excited to uh, be uh, uh, to be kind of in that, because I feel like Star Wars is very patriarchal. Well, it was masculine, it used to be. Right, yes, you are picking up on something, darling. That's correct. Oh, Star Wars didn't used to be Planet of the Pussies, darling. Okay, oh, every planet. And you know, when you when you say it like that, you're gonna go, "Oh, that sounds awesome." No, really not. Uh, uh, she began saying, "My character, you know." Because I feel the Star Wars is very patriarchal. Uh, so it was kind of cool to have this sort of woman centered figure. Yeah, because that, that always going to work out well. Okay, now. I mean, I bet she looks good in the role, though. Right? She's got a real screen presence. Right? Uh, um, who is that? Rebecca Henderson standing next to it. Fine. Uh, um, okay, on Star Wars Celebration, uh, you know, she's really got uh, she's really sort of going through this struggle because I mean, that Star Wars, right? There's a god, god, she's so dumb, she's really kind of like the this sort of quandary, and that's the sort of journey is the kind of go through this struggle between two ideas. Smith Turner Smith added, blimey. Like that's, I think that's the most ideas you've ever had to juggle in your life, darling. Matt, you don't look hot enough to be this dumb, quite frankly. Um, she would add to the idea that the show was woman centered while speaking with Screen Rat telling her the outlet, uh, telling the outlet, we don't ever really see more than matriarchal energies. Oh, this sounds like it's going to be so good. It's going to suck so hard. Then she said. Uh, I think we already kind of started to center women in this world in the in the latest movies, and we're seeing uh, seeing it a lot on the other TV shows. So, yeah, we've noticed as well. But I think it's uh, often very much about a man's journey, even though it's all about women uh, uh, and less about. Oh, God. You're not hot enough to be this dumb. Uh... Uh, Turner Smith then uh, re relayed, we have a black lead and that alone is groundbreaking. Yes, because nobody's seen a black person before. Uh, I mean, yeah, in the real world we have, but in Hollywood they haven't. Uh, uh, and amazingly and encouragingly exciting as a fan. And uh, when it's somebody as talented as Amadala as an actor, uh, that was very exciting. That made me want to sign up because I was. I don't know who she is. Who's Amadala? Okay, you guys have no idea what's coming. Fuck me. I, I'm, I'm afraid we might have a bit of a notion, darling. Okay, <laughs> like we might have a bit of idea what's coming up. Uh, 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 I do, I do for the. Uh, fucking hell! You have no idea what's coming, really? Because we've seen Jodie Whittaker's uh, Doctor Who, and we've seen Star Trek Discovery. Right, uh, uh, have we seen all the MCU? Right, we have a we have a pretty damn good idea what's coming up. Anyone that brain could think what's coming up? Yes, you're right. The show is going to ramp up the wokeness factor that's already ravaging Star Wars to the next level. It really is, right? I think the end is moot uh, swinging low. I think it's changing again. Uh, uh, first of all, I really wanted people to that are different than me. What Republicans? Uh, people that uh, I certainly didn't want a room full of people that were just agreeing with me vehemently. Um, here's the thing I respect her talent, right? Leslie Hudland, right? I do respect her talent. Uh, um, da -da -da -da. Not ideologically, but artistically. Yeah, no, you got to agree with me ideologically. Uh, people, uh, that kind of thing. Uh, um, 
in different writing styles, are, are into different things, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, okay, fine. Uh, they said it was intention putting uh, uh, attention in terms of putting uh, together a room that we were going to have people there who hadn't been in a room with before. If I oh, can't, I can't stop waffle, waffle, Hollywood waffle. We are making shit. I mean, really, this is like so. I mean, like, I mean, could you look gayer, man? Are you? I'm surprised you haven't gone trans, right? Because uh, uh, that's all the rage. But uh, uh, and looks like you'll be up for that. Oh God! Like Leslie, darling. <laughs> I don't know. That. This show better be awesome for you to be talking this crap. Oh, Gordon Bennett. I know. So yeah. So killing that Mandalorian was a veiled uh, message that. Um, uh. uh Hello. Yeah, that uh, uh, Star Wars is dead. This is not such a veiled message, of course. Although, this is interesting, right? Hollywood writer producer Karma Pasha uh, offers insider info from sources within Disney and Lucasfilm. Ah. Please say no more. Uh, that Star Wars, uh, that Star Wars Ray movie starring da Daisy Ridley announced recently was at Star Wars Celebration is. Uh, now in doubt when it uh, with it claimed to be a fake announcement by Kathleen Kennedy in, in, in a desperate attempt to save her job from uh, strong arm Disney CRP. I don't believe you. Look, too many people slapped her on her ass, right? She I, she probably had to suck too many dicks and she's got knows where all the bodies are buried, right? I don't know. She's got juice over everyone. If I come from a Hollywood reporter writer, Carmen Pasha, who is known as Ros... Okay, fine. Um, where are we up to? Uh, uh, so that helps she's done. Roswell, New Mexico. Uh, Rain, Nikita, Tron, Uprising, King, Sleeper Cell, Twilight Zone, and more. So she's a real writer, right? Uh, worth a mention is that Carmen Pasha was recently interviewed for the LA Times about the Hollywood writer strike, and Fortune also used quotes of Pasha about, uh, about the ousted... <laughs> okay, Victoria Alonso, Marvel's Victoria Alonso. Oh, this will make sense. This will make sense. Why did they go woke crazy right after Victoria Alonso got fired? Okay. Uh, where Fortune uh, uh, references Pasha, screenwriter, and media ex fine. We, oh God, I, why would you make more with this? This is awful. Uh, we see Carmen Pasha has some big time Hollywood connection. Fine. So what she's saying. Uh, in an interview with YouTube, uh, YouTube, Carmen Pasha goes over what she's been told by an insider friend where it was said that Bob, Bob Iger had a big meeting with Kathleen Kennedy where the two clashed on a uh, uh, clashed on a, clashed a couple of weeks prior to Star Wars Celebration. Uh, what was the, what they're meeting about? The meeting is said to be about Kathleen Kennedy stepping down from Star Wars and, and Lucasfilm as Iger wants Kennedy to exit from Disney. In addition, I get getting rid of Victoria Alonso, right? I also wants to get uh, rid of the extension bit billionaire uh, uh, Ipe uh, Perlmutter, right? According to partial uh, sources, the meeting between uh, Bob Iger and Kathleen Kennedy included a plan for Star Wars celebration that was to give Kennedy a Viking funeral send off, uh, which means she was going to be celebrated for all her accomplishments, such as the upcoming release of Indy 5. Uh, this summer, Kathleen Kennedy would announce her retirement uh, from Lucasfilm. Well, uh, well, that's not what happened. That celebration is that Kathleen Kennedy announced a new Star Wars movie with Day with uh, Daisy Ridley returned to uh, stage, uh, looking very awkward. Right there, uh, it's further claimed that partial sources uh, source that was that the announcement of uh, the Ray movie and even the Acolyte uh, Disney Plus series was considered a big surprise by those who work at Lucasfilm. Well, this is interesting, isn't it? Color me intrigued. Uh, this is interesting. So what is going on? According to the partner, instead of having her Viking funeral, Kathleen Kennedy clashing with Iger uh, as she um, doesn't want to leave Lucasfilm and she wants to stay on for another five years. Fuck me, no. 
Uh, 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 and uh, Kendi is going to uh, challenge Bob Iger with um, uh, was it Ken Bob, uh, uh, Bob, Bob, uh, challenge Bob Iger uh, with those surprise Star Wars celebration announcements. This sounds feasible. I don't shit like this go down, right? What essentially is Kennedy doing is putting Iger in a pickle. Uh, as on one side, Iger wants her gone, but on the other side, Kennedy wanting to stay. So Kennedy announces a bunch of new products, which he hopes will get her fans excited. <laughs> so Iger keeps her on board. Parsha also explains that Kennedy is hoping that Bob Iger will go uh, go away soon. Similar to what happens with Bob Chapek, and she'll remain. Could be. She's survived more. But Parsha doesn't believe that's going to happen with Iger actually puts forth uh, Kennedy's, uh, 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 Kennedy, Kathleen Kennedy's Star Wars celebration announcements backfired big time. Yeah, what? Well, they all tanked horribly, right? Uh, uh, how do they backfire? Everybody hates them. Uh, wait, wait. Carl and Pasha claim that uh, Disney Disney did a poll polling at Star Wars Celebration, which shows all the fans were excited about the announcement. Uh, all uh, which shows all the fans were excited about uh, was a soaker by Dave Filoni and uh, John Favreau products. But the polling for the opposite for the Kennedy projects. Uh, Ray and da Daisy uh, Ridley and the uh, Acolyte. Parsha uh, says that Iger is going to have to face uh, uh, going to have a face uh, going to have another face face meeting with Kennedy uh, uh, present the poll and go with what happened at Star Wars Celebration. She's fucked if that's the case. Hollywood trade sites are, are given the go ahead to attack Kennedy. Oh, is she going to go down? Wow, wow, that's uh, uh, well, the thumbnail for this is going to be a toppling uh, uh, power time statue with Kathleen Kennedy's face. Uh, um, where are we up to? Uh, but it was uh, also further points out that Hollywood trades uh, state have now changed the course as the narrative is now against Kathleen Kennedy, which hasn't happened. Uh, in all the years at, uh, uh, Kennedy has been in charge of Lucasfilm uh, and, uh, and Star Wars. Pasha says this is a coincidence that Trey's are now attacking Kennedy, especially uh, the, Star the Ray Star Wars movie. Oh, wow. According to Pasha, he believes that the Trey... See, this is what I, 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 I've been telling you guys, right? I view reality as... Well, we're in a weird time, but energy is shifting, but we're going backwards and forwards, right? So we had all that. So this is about washing away all that negative energy, man. This is cool. Um, so they've given, they said the trades were given the go ahead from Iger's camp uh, and will be gone from uh, Star Wars. I want to be able to do it now. Look at me. I'm, look, I'm back into the story. Uh, 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 Lucasfilm and that uh, Ray movie isn't uh, isn't happening. Hence, following celebrations, three trade sites attacked the announcement. Interesting. Wow, how much longer was this? Okay, fine, I'm nearly done. Pasha points out that uh, uh, Matthew, uh, Matthew Baloney, former director of uh, Hollywood Reporter and entertainment lawyer, attacked Kennedy in an article where Pasha says that Baloney is the type of guy uh, in Hollywood who will call, uh, call up Bob Iger and go out to dinner with the CEO. Parsha points out in the second trade published by Bologna's former employee, THR, is about how fans are turning on the Mandalorian season three. Is Raymond Kennedy got involved and is causing problems? It's very Bo, Bo Katan centric. Uh, uh, I do think Mandalorian might be going down next, next episode, right? Um, where the THR also uh, makes it about Kennedy's announcement, there's actually. Uh, um, the there's actually ha happening at this time a third article THR variety, blah blah blah. Uh, also, tax rate movie. So, uh, Callum Parsha points out that all three articles from different Hollywood trades were published one day after, uh, 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 uh after another, and another, and again, it's no coincidence that Bob Iger wants the narrative put out that that Kennedy's announcement aren't going to happen. This, uh, the Patty Jenkins Rogue Squad, uh, Rogue Squad movie isn't happening. And Kevin's face got yeah. Fuck me, these are going down. So, you know, I have to tell you, let's say Kathleen Kennedy goes down, right? And and uh, um 
you know, like a palpatine like you know, a, a destruction. Um, let's say that happens, right? And Favreau and Filoni are like freed. They're like, <laughs> they still, we're still cool, right? We they they can still uh, 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 course correct. Uh, I mean, like again, we saw the Praetorian Guard, but I thought the design of those were fantastic, and I always liked those. And it, 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 we could still have a bra go, go in a different direction. It could happen, right? It genuinely could happen. It's uh, um, um, highly, I, it, yeah. It's it's even actually kind kind of likely now. Wow. It uh, 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 this I I don't know. I think this might might have legs. I think this might indeed have legs. That'd be that'd be incredible. My name is Ela Beck, and you rabbi from another planet. Please like, share, and subscribe, and ring that little bell. Ring the little bell so you're notified when new videos drop.